We are back with Miss Shirley Ballas. She is going to continue giving us her expert opinion on what happened at the US Professional National Latin Championships here in Orlando, Florida. So let's see what happened. Defending their title. And I believe they have won this for 10 years. Last year, the hurricane hadn't hit, it would have been 11. Oh, that, that is right. So, Ricardo with Julia, first in every dance. I have to pass this over to you, Shirley. Well, I don't really know where to start with them. Um, first of all, I want to say they are the professionals professional. So, my experience with them, even if I'm working in the studio and they're having a private lesson with somebody else, their work ethic is like nothing you've seen before. Um, Walter Laird used to have an expression that the competition should be no different from the, than the last practice. When you watch them in a lesson, their ethic is exactly the same as what they do in the competition. So they can pretty much, they're, they're so consistent. They don't stand about in the lesson and making excuses and whining and, and this and that. They just get on with it. So for that I applaud my use them as an example all the time. For me, they've um, gone well ahead of the rest of the race. There is Ricardo and Yulia, and then there is from second to sixth, which obviously, you know, can change here and there. But um, that professionalism, that work ethic, that dedication to the minute they walk in the studio, to the minute they walk out of the studio, just defines this team. Um, so simply amazing on that front. Um, I've known Yulia since, I don't know, late teens, early 20s. Never been any different as a character. When she walks in, she gets those shoes on, and that girl loves every single thing that there is about dancing. She loves the music. She loves the costumes. Can we just talk about the costume? When she came out yesterday, <laughs> down those stairs in that new dress that spun in all sorts of different directions, was so flattering. You know, she has a little step in her samba where her little hips go boom, 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 boom. And the dress was going boom and it was moving in all different directions. And it, I, ju I just love the costume. I knew I got a little sidetrack there. <laughs> but their grooming was great. I mean, they were great. Um, she has, but has always had, a magnificent sense of standing on her own feet. Always. Uh, she's another one that you would never see off balance. Yeah. Uh, you know, and even if you did, she would save it in such a degree that you would believe that that's the way the step is. I uh, love everything about the way she walks on, the way she walks off, um, the sense of feeling that she gives you, bringing her and capturing you into her world. I mean, that's even without her technical skills that run all the way through her body, from her coordination of her arms to her flexibility of her body to her leg action. She's absolutely a seasoned professional. She is the professional's professional when it comes to young ladies, a great example of what it should be, really, because at the end of the day, I mean, Yulia's blessed, beautiful figure, gorgeous face, beautiful legs and feet. She's blessed. Some of the girls out there maybe aren't quite so blessed. That doesn't mean that you can't make it. The thing that you can take away from Yulia and Ricardo, for example, is that sense of work. You know, they, they don't just go in and take their trophy they put the work in they, they they're the epitome of workaholics i think when it comes to practicing i think they love it i think they just love it so it's amazing to see and with ricardo first of all i think he's uh and i've known him a long time but i think he's also raised by beautiful parents who I happen to have known personally over the years. He's just respectful, uh, he's kind, and that shows in a simple thing of taking his lady on the floor, the way he changes from right to left, he lets the lady take a few steps forward and he takes a back seat. He's not an in-your-face dancer. He's not that, look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> he's always a little bit more respectful about where the lady goes and uh, you know how she she's portrayed um, and I know that in the past that perhaps some people have criticized him for maybe a lack of this or a lack of that I personally don't see that what I see more is that he is able to show that girl he really is the stem and she really is the blossoming flower and I think that he is he's worked hard at that skill I mean he is I, I've had the privilege of dancing with him in the past he is a beautiful leader so and right 
always a little bit early to get what we were talking about before with some of the other couples. He has an innate sense of time so he can make things look extremely easy. He's strong on his leg, great balance, um, musical, like I say, just gone ahead of the pack to another planet. Mm -hmm. So they're another couple that live on another planet and then there is the rest of them. But I would love people to look at that team and they've reigned now supreme for a long, long time. Look at that team and don't just think, oh, it's because of this, it's because of that. No, they've got the work ethic that goes with everything and always beautifully groomed. So, you know, hats off to Geordie or whoever dresses, both of them, I think, Ricardo is an Italian dressmaker, I think. But, you know, they always come out, they look the part, they take it serious. It takes great planning. Everything that they do must have great planning. They're flying here, they're flying there, they're doing this, they've got to go for their lessons, they've got to go to the grooming, blah, 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 blah. Plus, they take care of other people's careers. So, great, great skills in every department, really. Organizational skills, dance skills, clothing skills, floor craft skills, and work ethic. I want to keep pushing the work ethic because today, like I said, I see a lot of people who feel that they should be entitled to a result or don't understand why they don't get a result, and but they don't just have those skills. I mean, I think it shone through this year at Blackpool when they were, I think it was 55 first out of 55 first. Not one person dropped them. Mm -hmm. We have to have cheers. Mm -hmm. so, cheers, 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 Ricardo mm -hmm. and Yulia for that. Mm -hmm. Cheers. But, you know, that's hard to get 11 adjudicators. To agree. <laughs> to agree. But like I say, I think it's pulled so far ahead of the pack that it leaves a little bit the pack floundering. They must wonder, you know, what do we have to do next or whatever, so. And they still keep with the work ethic. They could take a little bit of a back seat. They could think, oh, well, you know, I've done this so many years and no. Doesn't matter whether you see them in a demonstration, doesn't matter whether you see them in a small competition, doesn't matter if it's the Asian Open or a big world championship, whatever, wherever you see them, you are gonna see the years and years and years of dedication. So true champions, I have to take my hat off to them. Yeah, great example for the youth coming up today really good yeah I spoke to them very late last night or early this morning oh they were moaning, no complaining they, they, I mean if they have to get up at six o'clock in the morning then that's what they'll have to do to fit everything in their day without complaint they apologize because they had to take so many photographs with people that I had to wait for like 10 minutes I'm like ah. so once again all you kids please Go and live with them for a couple of days and just... Down in history is one of the greats, I believe. I believe that will happen. And like I say, you've got to take your hats off to them. I mean, they're still there. They're still going. They've been there reigning at the top for now over 10 years. So congratulations to them, you know. I know they love it. I think some people I can imagine retiring. And I think that they make a decision that they've had enough but I think with Ricardo and Yulia they will keep going they're like the Energizer bunny <laughs> they just keep go that's out of Jersey boys by the way they just keep going and going and going and improving and doing and working and I think deep down inside their heart just loves it you know and I know I, I know personally I'm with Ricardo he just loves every minute of being out there and entertaining um, so it's still refreshing to this day. So yeah, class of their own. Class of their own, surely. I can't say anything else about really that. Enjoyed it. I want all the boys and girls to keep trying and striving, and you know, don't give up on your dreams. And who's to know what dreams can come true? You know, so dreams do come true. Just don't give up. Keep striving forward. Well, your dreams, your new dreams, every day seem to be coming true at the moment. Well, they are. I mean, you know, I'm just so excited. You've got Derek doing World of Dance and Julianne doing her movies and got Mark on Broadway. And then, of course, I got that role in Strictly Come Dancing, which has opened up new doors. And when it opens up new doors, I'm able to help so many more people. So, yeah, it's thrilling. Yeah. I have to say, once again, I've waited a long time to get you on my sofa. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> With a video camera <laughs> and a drink. Hey. <laughs> Life does not get any better than this. Thank you Thank so you. much. You. And I nearly, I nearly, I nearly forgot. So, if you want to know what Shirley's up to or what anybody's up to in the dance business, www.dancebeat.com.
gmail.com. Give us another kiss, please. Mwah. Mwah. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Look up the dictionary what snog means. <laughs> See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>